Hello, hello. Here we are. Our first day uh, of exploring our new, newish van. It'll be fun. Definitely fun. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> a lot of work to do, a lot of work. That's the back of the van right here. Certainly a work in progress. Have to get that metal cage out of there and dig up that flooring. So those may be the first steps and then we'll address the door panels and all that good stuff and insulation. So this will be the first thing we're going to attempt to take apart. We don't even have all the tools yet. A lot of them we with our goodwill, we had them, we ordered off Amazon, went to the Home Depot last night. So I feel like you're definitely doing something right when you get your first orange bucket at the age of 34. First orange bucket at the age of 34, um, got gloves and have to get these bolts off so I can disconnect this bad boy that makes a lot of noise and uh, will open up the van a lot. So first things first, and I have tools coming. I have ratchet set coming, but if the games begin, yep, that's already gonna be a nightmare. Cool, all right. Look forward to that. That's the first washer bolt and nut that have come out. Um, I have cursed about 40 times already. I don't have the right tools. So, so far, so good. Natasha's gonna love me during this. <laughs> So that's where it came out of with this rusty old tool. Uh, so far, so good. Yeah. That went easier than expected. I was um, doing one bolt, thought I had to do a lot more bolts, but boom, one bolt came out and that's the aftermath right there. So now the van's opened up, look at that. Hey, you hear that pop there? Let's see how these things breaking. Oh my gosh, got my new ones. I can't um, believe that metal frame but, is yeah. out. But trying to save this barrier here to give us an outline, or I get trash if it's really dirty and ugly. But yeah, I broke two bolts, or bro it's fine. We got plenty of things, we're good. You happy so far? Yay. She loves it. She's stoked. This is the part that could give anybody agita when you remove car parts. The door trim, time to clean it up a bit. Well, we're doing van stuff with van people. We got a ratchet set, but more importantly, right here, this is not a Jackery, it's a Ninja Bot or Ninja Bat. It's a generator, so we can go off grid. You can hook solar into this, um, 300 watts here. So, good savings, a great deal. Not the orange Jackery, let's open it up, unbox it. Ninja, so you have your AC, hit it, AC power, display, um, sol I think solar goes in, yep, here's your <laughs> lantern, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, um, it's a light inside. side, oh, it's just going on, <laughs> oh, it's got 64% battery, right on, ready to go, so, yep, solar panel, AC socket, car lighter, so, it's really cute. It's light too. You'll hear the review. Once I get the bolts out of the car, different story. <laughs> mm. Got my list, or I uh, got our list. Let's go to the Home Depot for like the third time so far. It's very eye-opening. Bird tree plywood. Check. Check. We are, I didn't know wood cost this much money. I guess lumber is high, but we got some lumber, right? Lumber. Lumber.
we have to get these eight foot boards into the car right here. We had to buy a knife to cut through it. So we'll see how this goes right here. Part two now. Yeah, we just cut that in there to fit in the car. Now this, which they don't recommend with this little knife here, but we I'm have not, no other choice. Yeah, roughing it. Let's do it, dear. <laughs> oh yeah! Flower of knives. In the parking lot of the Home Depot, we did this. Probably not what they want to do, but whatever. Don't so, judge us. We now need to get some adhesive spray in the floor, but we're getting there. So, success so far. Let's go eat some food. That's still pretty good. Well, there's an orange power cord leading to the car. We're going to use our first power tool. I purchased this grinder right there. We'll see if this works out. It's gonna be a blast. Right. Well, I feel protected at least. Uh, these are plastic, probably not the most ideal thing. I have earplugs. We'll see how loud this gets. Doing this in a neighborhood alleyway, I'm sure the neighbors must love this, but that's okay. Let's grind away. is gone so that was successful let's see what else we can grind in here we've had our first <laughs> we've had our first string of good luck right now i need cardboard to make the floor of the van the outline and our neighbor just walks out the door with two boxes like this can't see it cardboard there cardboard there they're cardboard boxes full of cardboard so time to make the van floor outline let's get to it Ready to do this right here. Soundproof or insulate. Let's do it! <laughs> Rolling expertise right there, Natasha. I don't know what I'm doing, but it looks fun. Yeah, and she's having fun while doing it. Good job, dear. <laughs> That's the first part that we've done together, or pretty much first part we've done. I'm excited. The aliens won't reach us. That's from my wife. That's all Natasha, that quote. All Natasha. Time to use spray adhesive. Never used it before. Probably gonna mess it up. It's like silly string. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We cut them not so perfectly, but <laughs> we tried. They're gonna be underneath anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. So far, so beautiful uh. insulation that we did earlier. <laughs> The sticky? It's sticky, yeah, very sticky. Yeah, that's what we want. I think we're supposed to wear a mask for this. Probably. But we're in a well ventilated area, all doors are open, it is what it is, I say, you Burning in midnight oil. Good job, Tasha. A plus job. It's time for day two and more flooring, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish up the flooring today. We'll see how this goes. It's all a learning experience. I don't know. 
when you need some weight, find some local area rocks and put them down and get that glue nice and tacky. Oh yeah. So we're cutting the wood right now. Show them how professional we are. I don't know. I don't know if I should. Anyways, this is our angles. So Mr. Z will go with his chainsaw and uh, cut, cut it. It's a really poorly drawn angle by me. Um, I'm the blame. She's gonna cut me with this now. <laughs> Still need him. <laughs> there we have the outline of our little vinyl floor. So we're gonna cut it with these scissors. Let's do it. Let's lay it down. Oh my god. Oh, are you taking a picture or filming? I was doing both, but... <laughs> so, dancing as usual and the carpet, well the floor... Kinda done. It's kinda done. We have to glue it in next, so time to mess it up and cut some more. It's officially time to get this floor glued down to the van, and then we'll be somewhat done the flooring. We'll do some finishing touches, put the sides on there. But it seems kind of now more like an actual camper van. Well, I've never used that before or this kind of trowel before. But we'll see how it goes. Mmm, uh. looks like the light right there. Looks like cream cheese. I'm gonna dip this into here. That's not bad right there. Let's see how it looks on here. Probably need some more tools. Oh my god, it's messy. Well, that's a start, I guess. This may take more than one bucket, we'll see. Oh god, I'm gonna drop it, it's like valuable. Not bad, I like this, not bad. 